Today we're gonna have a look at this camera, Minolta XG1 with the old Minolta logo. It works fine. I think I bought it on the flea market for 10 euros with a lens, a very good price. Of course, it works without any problems, but there are some issues. First of all, the leather red here is coming off and doesn't look that good. Uh, um, I haven't done that in a long time. Uh, I will make a new custom leather ring. I bought white leather red black but i think this camera will match most with this wine red i think that looks good that's the first thing, uh, thing i'm gonna do viewfinder is a bit dirty but uh, it's just from outside the light seals are crappy i will make new ones for that and besides that i think the mirror damper yeah the mirror damper here is a bit old it's the question if I take apart the lens mount or if I just make it from here. And I think I will make it from here because I'm too lazy to pull all this apart. Take a sip of my coffee. I have this tool here from my phone repairing times, but I think it works good for this purpose too. Trying to just go, yeah, like this, without stretching the material too much, because maybe then I, we don't have any um, exact measurings uh, when we laser cut the other materials. Should we keep this? Thing. I don't think that anybody needs this. I will keep it as a souvenir. Oxidated a bit. Yeah, but that's fine. Nothing to worry about. Okay, what's that? No, okay, just, just take everything back. Okay, this, what's that? It's plastic. Oh, really slow that we don't bend it. As I can see, it was on there like this. Okay, no problem. I'll put it here like that, so yeah, I can see it. Okay, so now we have the 
the originals and the camera is naked. Should we remove the old glue? Yes, of course. It's in my opinion, if you do something, do it right. Uh, clean everything up, even the parts that you don't see. So um, I wanted to glue perfectly for the next 10 years if somebody buys that camera. So I'm gonna make it right. But first take a sip of my coffee. Q-tips, alcohol. So I, I would say this this Minolta X series cameras that they're so good. They have good lenses, uh, but the Minolta X seven hundred is way too expensive. I have, I sold some of them for I think two hundred fifty euros. That's <laughs> Why you buy something like that? So I don't care, it's money in my pocket, but yeah, yeah. way too much. I bought this so cheap and it's a good working camera. You put on the same lenses on that, so I don't, I don't see the point in getting another one that is basically the same, same functions and way more expensive. Doesn't make any sense to me, but I don't care. I think I don't even have a X700 or X300 here. I have to look, maybe. I think this one, this cameras look cooler. And you have an auto mode, uh, auto mode too, so. Something like this. And then we are put these on there. together as possible. Okay, this one is fair, but yeah. just like that. Okay. So, and now I think that the desk makes a bit of a noise when I come against it. And now I will put this in my scanner. I have to look that I don't make it on the wrong side. So I will put it in the scanner like this. The scanner scans from the bottom. And, but then, yeah, it should work. It should work. So I'm silver fast now with the, um, the scanner program from Apple. It doesn't work. It doesn't, it can't get the connection to the device, but I don't care. This is the, some old custom lettering that I made. It was a big work to do it, but um, now just do this. Uh, my scanner makes weird noises that it doesn't make normally. I hope it's, I hope it works. Mm-hmm, I think that does, that's looking good. So we will make a PDF scan from this area. I don't know, I can make a screen recording while I'm recording like this. 
Um. <laughs> It's not very. Oh, it should be okay like this. Oh, it's okay like this. And that's quality. So now we have that file. Now I put this file on Dropbox and put, make it on my other computer because on this laptop I don't have uh, Illustrator because it's not good enough. I will have a new laptop soon. But on my other laptop, my Windows laptop, I have. Uh, in, uh, Illustrator and there we will continue. Now I have the file as a picture in Illustrator, not as a PDF. And now we can do, um, I don't know how it's in, in English, it's Bild Nachzeichner. So it just turns in this into a, in a vector file. And we can have a look here. What the best setting is that it has the so my this is the original and the Light blue lines are what the program made out of it. We can do some adjustments here that it's... Oh, what? Okay. I think this first one was okay. <laughs> I'm just trying some things. Sometimes uh, the, the presets are pretty good. Because I want straight lines, not something uh, that complicated. Okay, that's. What was this skizzen graphic? That's perfect. Looks good. Maybe a bit less. A bit more. Mm. Mm. Okay, I think this is something we can work with. Always when I want to, uh, I scroll, it, it, it changes. But, uh, dude, I can't work with this. Okay, that that's okay. That's okay. So now we have this objects here. Adjustments. No, I'm in uh, Lightroom. And I imported uh, the files from the uh, from Illustrator, but it's in totally wrong dimension. That means some more work for me. I will this. I will use uh, this one for those two parts, and here I'm just gonna measure it and make a clear rectangle I think that's a bit better because these are accurate enough to uh, don't to look that uh, the camera doesn't look like shit 
What this piece? Not so much work. So the height of this piece is like 47 millimeters. So let's try. We just type in 47. Yeah. I hope that's right. I, I will just uh, have a little try on a paper or something like that, that I don't waste the material. And here, it's like 55. Forty-four is okay. Forty-four. Forty-four by This thing is shitty to use. I'm just bad at it. One hundred. Fifty-two. One hundred fifty-two by... What was it? Forty-four. Like I, I think this is like a half of a centimeter longer. So, ah, oh, shit. Try to make some mock-ups with paper and just look how they fit. Is that I don't want to damage it. Is this? No, it's the other one. Okay. Oh, I already made it cut from the other side, and I 
think it was a bit too strong. The second and the third. So now we have this. Let's have a look how it fits. First of all, this one, but it's a no brainer that. Oh no. No, but that, that's okay. That's perfect. So, is that this part here? Yeah, I would say. I would say that's right. Now look at the original. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's it's basically the same. And then where's the last piece here? Yeah, I would say that's perfect. Okay. Okay. So then let's make this one. So on my cutting board here, I put, I cut out a bit of the uh, little red material, I place it here. And then we are It should be as flat as possible. And then just have a look. Now. Maybe a bit more here. Have a look again. Yeah. Now we can start. The real setting. Yeah, look, look how it's cutting, but it's not that strong. That uh, because sometimes uh, on the other side it looks burnt and it shouldn't look burnt. Of course, we do this for the appearance that it looks good. Yeah. On the other side, you barely can see it. A bit maybe, but let's have a look. Always try just to. Push it out like this. First part.
And the last part. Oh. This part is always a bit tricky, I think. If I fail, I just make a new, a new one. I think that one was pretty good. So really press in that. too short here but mm, I, I can live with that now the rest so this was here and now oh please stop mm. I hate it when that happens. I really hate it. <sighs> it happens all the time. It really happens all the time. Why am I so dumb? material to get it out from here. No. no, not really. Okay. Why did that happen again? Okay, next try. I remade it. I didn't film it because um, it's just the same process. Oh, remember, don't forget to, um, I don't know, you know what I mean. It's in the right side. I think the smartest way Start here at the bottom. So just with a 
McDonald's stick for your coffee. Oh, look at this, it's, it's like perfect. Into the corners that it is matching perfectly. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it's not like the original, and I bet if you order this thing from Japan, it's even better, but. Uh, I make this at home at my, for myself and for that I think it's pretty good. Of course I'm aiming higher, I'm always doing. And obviously it's better than before, just like here it was damaged. I don't care. I don't care about something like that, but I'm selling this camera for a high price and of course then it has to be something special. It has to be looking beautiful. Of course it has to. That's just how the game works. Just look how beautiful this camera looks. <sighs> okay, maybe it's a bit less here, <laughs> but yeah. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. I will leave it like that. I will leave it like that. It's really okay. So. I think the new leather covers look good. I've uh, closed this up because I don't want uh, I don't want to get that uh, any more dust goes inside there. Oh, I have this the light meter on all the time. Not good. So, but I will start with the um, light seats here today. I'm going to bed in like half an hour. That's the last thing I can do. Some alcohol. Oh, I will get myself here. Now I will stop talking. Give myself some content. Continue finishing this camera until the next days.
I'm almost finished. The only thing is the Mirror Damper. Exactly. No, no, not the Mirror Damper. The Mirror Damper is the last thing. But underneath this thing here is also uh, some light foam, light light seal foam, and I can't reach it really, so I did this off camera, but I put a bit here because uh, um, if I put light seals here, I think the light isn't that great. I have to do that maybe a little bit different. Put some light seals like like the original one here, here, and here. Of course, here and here, and here it should be light uh, light tight. So when the film is above here, you can't see it really. But when I close it, it's it's perfect like this. Just, I just have to remove the light seal from underneath here. It isn't that much. And I think this hasn't been perfect because you can't see it. This is something you really that is not so important. It's just that uh, it don't crumbles on the film. I think that looks good. It's not. It's, it's, it's bad.
Hmm, I'm really bad today. I will cut out a piece from here to here because um, I think there's not enough material under underneath there. <laughs> I will leave it just like that. I, I will leave it like that. Like that. That's. The camera's um, almost finished, so I'll put a lens on here, 50mm f1, uh, f2, it was a bit damaged here, and it had a bend, um, but I fixed it, and uh, the mirror damper I put in place, you can see it, maybe, you can see it, I don't know, that here. Um, it's okay, I think. And first, first that, and um, I made the light seals at the back. What's the problem now? Because. Um, Some light seats here, 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 one here, and of course here, and down here. That's it. Um, I hit, I hit some, some glue that did it. Mm. No, no, looks good, looks good. It's It's good. Um, the last thing is a camera strap, and I think it's this model. Black or white or colorful. Hmm. Matches better. I will take black and white. Yeah. Um. But because um, I can't. Attach this right there. I have to use a spare camera. Let's <laughs> just look at that. Uh, a bit damaged, but yeah, nobody cares. I think the camera was like two euros. And just for this part. 
I think it's, it's a good price. Maybe the camera works. <laughs> no, there's nothing. side have to look that it's on the right side but it is and the other side say we turned this camera into a custom unique little gem oh uh oh is it on the wrong side here this one's right this side is it's wrong okay no problem. What I'm doing here, man? Unbelievable. Okay. Okay. So, finished. 
beautiful camera. Maybe I will get a new um, lens cap. And maybe, oh, one important thing. Can I forget that? Of course, we have to put on the, this thing just to make it look sexier, I don't know. Um, and maybe uh, eyepiece, a new one, I will, I will have a look on eBay on AliExpress if I can get something there. But that's it, beautiful looking camera. I will test it in the next days if the weather is fine because it's snowing outside and not really in the mood to take pictures then, I'm freezing my ass off. See you soon.